the race here in at Monza, and we're away. It looks like a good start, Ooh. actually. Oh no, no, oh, I'm sorry, no. it was not. Nope, not a good start at all. No. It's all at the back, thankfully, where it seems we've run into some oh, issues. But I'm seeing uh, five cars at a minimum being involved in that one. A couple more cars, uh, not just having to be very, very cautious. You can see and trying to make their way. Um, and here we go. I had I noted. Yeah, I think Nadelik was the highest position. I think he, he started in tenth place. Uh, oh no, the car ahead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. But uh, if there's one thing we've learned about these cars is that they 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 aren't just um, very difficult to control, as you were touching on, Chris. But also they are quite delicate. With the new damage model, you can see just how much damage was done to that front left. Oh, why are you saying that? Rosowski has got a lot of company. Oh, my goodness me, the TP link car of Jan Seeker had nearly been slammed into there. That's Matushek that's trying to make up for lost ground. Now, he had a qualifying ban uh, following an incident at the last race. That's why he was uh, having to start from the back. He's already up to 12th. That is uh, Thomas Horror for Big Shot. He's got that charging Matushek uh, from Entropic. And here we go on board with the number 42 car gonna now be in the top 10 oh this is gonna be interesting My, that's thomas coroney had no answer to that whatsoever with the slipstream and push the pass going on that's two positions with two check is just going can he hold on to it he's very slow coming through the retifidio can he out drag the big check he's using a lot of his push to pass very early on though and here i um, i assume we're going to see that uh that roshovsky sikara incident and there is Wyshowski pulling to the inside, getting onto the brakes as they get into that first game. You can see the car just moving around ever so slightly. And, yep, mm. I'm going to say I think that's Wyshowski on that one. And I think that's why he waited for Sikora on that one yep. as well, too. So pro probably no penalty as a result of that because he, he was stationary and waited for Sikora, which we love to see. We love good sportsmanship here at, uh, at VGP. Well, is Podstata really starting to feel the pressure? from Michael Lehman is if he's going to try and make a charge he may have done a little bit early but you know we'll see let's see what the lap times were last time around 31.7 31.3 so it wasn't a drastically bad lap from Potstar it was just a very good one Ooh, always makes me <laughs> wince when uh, aha here it is uh, what happened to you Mr. Prichard I'm not actually sure which one's oldest I was going to say Prichard Jr but I don't know which one of the brothers is actually younger <laughs> Oh, wow, a big snap. So what's happened there? He's, he's, he's had an oversteer moment, probably locked the brakes up uh, coming into Parabolica. And as he's gone to correct it, all the grip has happened. And that has seen the end of David Pichardo's race. And there you can just see for yourself the look of disappointment. That's going to give the momentum to Coroni. The Pichard car goes to the defensive line coming down into the Parabolica. Oh, is he going to try and outbreak him? Is he going to try and outbreak him coming into... Parabolica, nicely done if you can do it. Would move, Thomas Coroney. That unfortunately does leave you very open for a counter-attack, but that was a great move. You don't often see an outside move around the entirety of Parabolica. And this is partly why, is because the straight is so long that uh, you are susceptible to a counter-attack. Whoa, 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 Thomas whoa, whoa. That must have been pixels apart. That must have been so close. Final breaking zone of the race. He can take it as easy as he likes and really hug that inside line. Yeah, not running out wide at all. We get the we get the finger point. We get the thumbs up. But Stata had a, a pretty much perfect race, really, on that one. So it's familiar names up front with Michael Lehman in the uh, mixture. Uh, yet another masterclass from Lucas Postata to take the win. Michael Lehman two, Lucas Postata three, Michael Matushek. I would certainly give him driver of the day for that incredible run from last up to finishing fourth. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.